Okay, layered security test two using a vast antivirus in real time, IOBIT Security 360, Microsoft Security Essentials, Malware Bytes Anti Malware. Each will be run separately, not together. So I will turn one on with the others off. Now it's very important that you use only one antivirus, one real time anti malware, and one firewall. If you have Malware Bytes Anti Malware Pro or Super Anti Spyware Pro and other such programs, you will find that they will conflict with Microsoft Security Essentials and IBIT Security 360 because they all operate in real time and they will cause you major problems. So, one antivirus, one real time anti malware, one firewall. You can have secondary anti malware programs that run on demand. Now I'm going to visit a number of sites and I've turned off all my protection apart from a vast antivirus. That's the only one protecting me at the moment. And the first one, as you can see, you get the Web of Trust warning. I will ignore this warning on this site and it's found a Trojan horse. So I will abort the connection. It's very simple, very easy. It's found another Trojan horse on the same site. Now going to another site, this is a fake scanner. So, you should hit Alt and F4 to close your browsers. Uh, in this case, I will save the file and Avast does not pick it up. Now, as you can see, Security 360 is turned off and Microsoft Security Essentials is also turned off. So, there's no real time protection, it's just Avast. Now, I'll download a config bin file and visit a few other sites and download as well. And it's always interesting to see that one program picks it up and the other doesn't. Now I'll turn off a vast antivirus and I will enable Microsoft Security Essentials. So I'll turn on the real time protection and go back through the list and download again. And it will be the same things. So the first one is a page with a warning from Web of Trust that it's a nasty site. I ignored that threat. It's detected one potential uh, problem, which is WinWeb security. Clean the computer and I'll minimize that window and visit another site. Now this is the config bin file, which I downloaded. And here we have uh, a PDF exploit kit, which has also downloaded. And there's another one here, which is a binary file. I'll save this file. And I got quite a collection of these gathering on my desktop. Now at the moment, it's still only one potential threat on my computer. And in this case, it's found a password stealer, which is ulodis.a. So I will minimize this window and visit another site. And this is a typical fake scanner page. And click fix now and save the file. If you come across these, you should hit Alt and F4. Now this has detected two potential threats on my computer. As you can see, there's the password stealer and WinWeb security. So all I have to do is allow it to clean it off the machine and it doesn't take very long and that's it it's done so I'll close that go to settings I will turn off the real-time protection and minimize this window iobit security 360 I will turn on the protection against known malware and against unknown threats and again I will go back and I will visit some of these sites I will ignore the warnings and I will download, here we have the fake scanner and again ignore the warning and I will click OK and as you can see it is on the config bin file I will save that file uh, the PDF exploit that one's been saved uh, my PC is at risk with this scanner so fix now, download the file. My desktop will be cluttered. 
And here we go. As you can see on my desktop, I've got the installer here, which if I run it, iBit Security 360 has found a misleading system security application. I can quarantine the file and that it removes it. It's that simple. I have another one here which I was set up, which is Secure Warrior, which is part of the WinnieShield group of threats that every couple of days they come up with a new one. Now, this is iBit Security 360's picked up an unknown startup item. In this case, it's ie3du4yn.exe. Now, in your case, it may be a different number. But all you have to do is stop this action and remember the operation. But it doesn't stop it installing. So I'll click OK, click Next, and just follow through. And there's an unknown system service, which I will stop the action and remember. And again, another unknown startup item, which is Registry Warrior. Uh, my reg registry protectors also picked this up. Now, Secure Warrior is launched. It hasn't actually stopped it. And the same would apply with Microsoft Security Essentials. It doesn't actually stop it from installing. So each program is different. Now if I minimize that, you have the config bin files, each one is slightly different. And the damage they do is when they download. When you double click it, quite often nothing happens. The damage has already been done. It's installed whatever it wanted to, which is normally a backdoor trojan of some sort, or a password stealer. Now, we'll just check that this is up to date, which I'm sure it is, as I updated before I started, and yes it is. So what I will do is click on scan, and I will do a custom scan of my C drive. And I'll just let it run through and see what it finds. Now, iBit Security 360 has found zero threats. So I'll close that. I'll turn on Microsoft Security Essentials. And again, I will do a custom scan with this one, or a quick scan, I should say, which this will scan my C drive as well because my other drives are excluded. And this has actually found that there are no threats on my computer. So off to a perennial favorite. Now this is Malwarebytes Anti-Malware, the free version which is an on-demand scanner. So there's no false positives to be found between Ibit Security and Microsoft Security Essentials purely because it's on demand. Now this has found 12 infected objects and if we look at the results it's found the rogue Secure Warrior. Simply remove them and then you get the prompt to reboot, which I will do a little bit later. If you want any more information, check out my blog, which is Free PC Security, and you'll find more information, download links to a lot of programs. And you can find it at freepcsecurity.co.uk.